let's take a look at uh, worksheet number two about area of a parallelogram. And uh, first let's just cover the things that we talked about in the activity about dissection and as well about shearing. And again, if you didn't watch uh, that video or do the activity that relates to this, that might be helpful to, to do that as well. But we'll do it quickly here. The idea of, is can we cut up the parallelogram so that it becomes a shape that we're more familiar with that would help us know uh, the idea of how to, to understand its formula. And the answer is definitely yes. If we take this region here and we were to cut it with a little bit of scissors, it would land exactly because of the slope and its shape right into that spot. And what that does is it takes away part of our parallelogram, but it places it into a new location to form a rectangle. And that rectangle has the exact same base because this piece is the same part of the base and the pieces that we cut is right here. So it's the same base and the same height. So it's just base times height. Shearing means to lock in one dimension. And so we're going to lock in this base right here. And, and the height stays the same because if you shear along a parallel line, no height changes take place. So we get uh, base times height. Uh, and we can shear it so that we are perfectly perpendicular above this guy here. And so we get that idea of base times height there as well. So just a couple of quick discussions of some problems here. Um, whenever you get like a composite shape of rectangles and squares and things, uh, you can think about it in terms of cutting it into pieces. So you can do this little guy, this guy, and this guy. That would be, and there's many ways to cut it up but that's one set. Or I've seen a group of people um, think of it as one big hole. So they find the entire region there and then they would subtract back this part of it to uh, obtain the answer. Kind of a cool way. You can think of it as little pieces making the hole or a big piece taking some out. In terms of the other things, I don't want to get too specific, but there's lots of little things that make you find a height or a base or whatever. Here I see a 60 degree angle special right triangle. And I know that uh, the hypotenuse is double, so this would be 4. And then the, um, the long side is root 3 bigger, so that would be 4 root 3. So if I'm doing area is base times height, my base, because it's a parallelogram, are the same. So that's 10 times the height, which is 4 root 3, and I get 40 square root 3 centimeters squared as the area of that guy. Over here, there's nothing actually really tricky about this, but there are times when the height is given to you outside. That doesn't mean add this area into it. It just means that's where they've placed the measurement. So this is just 12 times 8. Uh, that's 80, 96 centimeters squared to find that region there. We'll take a look at it. 